completed my first week of boot camp. Um, I'm gonna run to Costco because I need to get all my stuff for the new week. Um, it's my bi-weekly run and I'm gonna show you something cool. So Costco by far is one of the coolest, uh, it is actually the coolest uh, warehouse retailer. Um, it has better and healthier stuff above BJ's and Sam's Club by far. So I'm gonna show my grocery haul, but I wanted to really showcase like the really cool, healthy, organic options they have at Costco. Um, if anything to help somebody who's trying to figure out what to buy, um, this can help. Yep, it's Costco. So it's very real for me. I'm in here every two weeks like Blackboard. Hence the black card, you get cash back at the end of the year and we got like $120 last year, which is pretty cool. So I've been eyeing these for a few weeks. They are $30. Um, and I need this because the uh, mugs that we had before, my husband melted the tops of them. So I need to replace this. Okay, yeah, I definitely need this. Right now I'm using glass Voss bottles, which can fall and break on the dime. This holds 40 ounces and it keeps things hot for 12 hours, cold for 24 hours. Perfect. So because I shop at the big regional farmer's market on most Saturdays, I usually skip a lot of the fresh produce because a lot of this stuff is not organic. Um, but if you need a deal, here it is. So this is a staple in my house. We constantly buy these and use these to eat. I use them in my smoothies sometimes. Um, one box, one big box is only $4.99. I know in my local supermarket, a big box like this is almost eight. So I decided to pick up this box of blueberries. Um, it's $6.99, non-GMO, uh, organic. Um, they don't always have these, so when they do, I like to pick these up and grab them. These are so delicious. And FYI, you can get this box of six mangoes for $6.49, but they're not organic. So if you don't care or you want to skimp on that, um, this is a pretty good deal. I have mangoes already. They also have these yellow ones too. I'm an island girl, so I love you know mangoes, papayas, pineapples, things like this. But just note that papayas are usually GMO and usually have pesticides on their skin. Granted, you're only eating the inside, but use that to make your decision. There's 10 million people in here, which is really annoying. I don't need to buy chicken today or meat, but if you do, there's some really great deals on dark meat chicken and white meat chicken, pork, um, fish as well, and we usually buy that. Yeah. Real talk, the vegan superfood burger, chewy, like a, almost like it's doughy. It's not, it's not bad, but it's not, like I wouldn't make a burger out of it, I would just eat it like as a snack. So the dairy room is where it's at. I'll show you what I get. The egg deal can't be beat. This is new. I've never seen this before. It's silk organic almond milk. You see that price? $9.49. That's for three. I normally buy this one. $6.99. So I'm going to stick with this for now. We skimp on organic eggs. We usually just buy this because we eat a lot of eggs. We have five dozen eggs for $8.59 in a box. <laughs> and they're never broken, so that part's good. I'm sorry, but this is laziness. This is just being lazy. I'm sorry, but it is. Okay, I live on these. These are amazing. I discovered them, oh my gosh, a couple years ago at like, a, I don't know, like a sampling or something. They're amazing. Oh, it was here at Costco. They had a sampling a few years ago. This is amazing. They are $20, so a little bit expensive great about these is that they make a good nutritious snack with a lot of protein so this is what's awesome about perfect bar there's three flavors they have more flavors but they come individually and they're like at whole foods and stuff like that my husband and my mother love vita coco i really only use vita coco when i'm juicing or making smoothies um but it is good for hydration when you're like running around a lot and it's hot as some we're moving into summer it is a good thing to have but it's so expensive my husband loves this. It's actually really filling, so it's actually good for meal replacement despite the fact that the cups look really small. It comes eight in a pack for $8.99, but you could literally have this for lunch and then eat like two, three hours later and you'll be fine.
I don't actually need any frozen uh, fruits this week, but I just wanted to showcase the huge bags that you can get and store so that you can get your smoothie game right um, and you get really good deals and prices and you have organic options. Cox's is the business for seafood. You get a two pound bag for $15.79. They used to have jumbo shrimp, but that was I think, a couple years ago. I haven't seen them since. So I do buy this. Also have a lot of frozen vegetable options that might work for you that are big. So you can save, have them for your whole family. You can have several meals from it. Um, I usually do fresh vegetables, but this is a good option as well. The prices are pretty good, for especially for the size of bag that you're getting. I hope that you can see it through the glass, because um, I'm not holding the fridges because I'm cold. But you know, you have organic, you have chopped spinach bags for six sixty nine, broccoli, even Brussels sprouts now. But I'll tell you what, I get a much better deal on these from the farmer's market, and we just freeze them ourselves. So, you know, options. So this is a good option, even though it's processed, the Sargento Balance Breaks are amazing. And they're amazing because they're 180 calorie snack, you get healthy fats from the cheese and the cashews, and you get a little sugar from the- So these are great because you can eat them as a snack, but you can also throw them into a salad and you have instant toppings. So that's kind of cool. Fantastic deal. $6.49 for three pounds. Um, I use this all the time when I make uh, overnight oats and I eat it and I put it in smoothies, so sorry. Also a staple that we buy all the time. You eat them as snacks, we put them in smoothies. Um, we skimp and don't get the organic. I feel like I saw that they brought an organic one in too, but it's just really expensive. So this the price is $12.99 for this next time because I love to bake. They have options for everything now. Um, $7.79 bag, just FYI. They even have ghee now, which is clarified butter from grass-fed cows. Um, it's healthier, well, some say it's healthier than regular butter, so. It's expensive, but if you like ghee, this is a good deal. I'm trying this next time, it's mayo made from avocados. Um, and I don't use mayo very often, but I do wanna try this and see. If it's delicious, then there you go. Wonder how it'll be in tuna, that's a good question. Okay. So apple cider vinegar has become a staple in most homes now. Everybody generally uses Bragg's, which is great and awesome. However, just be aware that you can get two big bottles at Costco of the Vermont Village brand, which is also organic, here at Costco. So this sauce is amazing, this marinade, it's great on uh, meats. Apparently you can use a salad dressing, I don't eat salad dressing, so try it and let me know how it is, but it is delicious. FYI, this is the best canned tuna you can buy. Um, they have at Costco for $14.99 for six of them. Um, I still have some, so I don't need any now, but this is the business. Um, and yes, you can get Bumblebee. Yes, you can get the other ones, but this is the best one. Organic chicken stock, if you use that, there's six in this box. For eleven forty nine, anybody who knows and uses chicken stock, you know that this thing costs like six, seven dollars for one little bottle um, at the supermarket. Multiple options for organic brown rice. This one's twelve forty nine. This is the one I buy. This one is new. I haven't seen this brand before. Um, it's a little bit cheaper. Um, they have oh my gosh, organic mung bean, which to me is disgusting, but people like that. Um, Tordal. Here's organic quinoa, which I buy, but I have plenty at home. $9.99 for the bag. And then here are Madra Spunzels. This thing is awesome. So there's eight pouches. It cooks in one minute in a pot of hot water. It cooks in the pouch. And so you have cooked and sauced lentils um, that you can put over rice or quinoa. It makes dinner really quick. And it's only $11.99. We eat this oh, a moderate amount. 
Um, lentils are full of protein and other nutrients, so it's a good filling meal. We do this a lot when we're doing like a, a vegan meal. Um, and this is an awesome deal. If you make a lot of oatmeal and overnight oats like I do, this is a fantastic deal. So these canisters are humongous. They are two 80 ounce things that add up to five pounds. Oh, actually that's each. So 10 pounds in total for $7.69. I heard that they have um, organic Quaker oats now, so worth a try. These are hemp hearts from Manitoba Harvest. I love everything that they make. Uh, and I love hemp treats and their hemp protein. So being able to get a big bag for $11.99 to 20 ounce bag is awesome because for the average salad or smoothie, you're only using one to two tablespoons um, at a time. So you get a really good deal here. There are also organic chia seeds, which I use at home as well. Um, and I buy these, these are really good. Only $7.49 for the bag. So they have organic raw honey here too. I buy this one because you get three for $13.99. Um, they have these local honey for 48 ounces. Um, I do like to get my local honey from the farmer's market because I'm getting it from local farms that I actually know, and it's just delicious. They also have Manuka honey here for $40 for a jar. Um, if I find it, I'll video it. So these are good um, plant-based protein, organic, non-GMO protein powders. I do vanilla. I'm not a chocolate person. Um, and these look like they're all chocolate today, but normally they have vanilla as well. Um, it's $30 for the canister. That's a pretty good price for the size that you get. However, this protein is my go-to. I swear by Vega protein, pre-workout, recovery, post-workout. I use all of their stuff. $30 for the canister, and it lasts for a decent amount of time. So it's a good deal. So now that the food is all put away, I did spend quite a bit, 272.54. Now, this is also us stocking up on things that we have run out of. This is not a normal week, and it's still a good deal because this stuff is going to last for quite some time.